Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and this is a review for the Blue Smart A4 Laminator. This is the laminator. It measures 15 inches by 5 and a quarter inches and 3 and a quarter inches tall. The power cord is 5 feet long. In front is the slot where you'll insert your sheets to be laminated. Note that the laminator doesn't come with any lamination sleeves, so you'll have to buy those separately. This machine works with both hot and cold lamination for thermal activated adhesive pouches and pressure activated adhesive pouches. On the right side of the unit are the power switch and the toggle switch for hot and cold lamination. For cold lamination, simply turn the unit on. Place the sheet to be laminated inside the pouch and insert the edge into the opening in front, which is wide enough to accommodate up to A4 sized sheets. The rollers will automatically grab and move the pouch through the machine. When it comes out the other side, it should be laminated. If choosing hot lamination, you have to wait 3 to 5 minutes for the heating element to warm up, and the green ready light should come on before you start. Then you just do the same thing. Place the item to be laminated into the pouch, and then place the pouch into the opening. The rollers will just pull it through. When the sheet comes out the other side, it may still be hot to the touch, so give it a few seconds to cool off before handling it. If you need to switch back to cold lamination after using hot lamination, you'll have to wait for the unit to cool down first. The laminated sheets come out perfectly. They're smooth, glossy, and flat, with no wrinkles or bubbles. The thickness of your lamination sheets will determine how rigid or how flexible the final product is, but either way, your photos, business cards, and other stationery will be protected from liquids, oil, stains, and dirt. On the top of the unit, you have a three-blade rotary cutter that can help you finish the edges of your laminated sheets, or even just plain paper. These symbols here indicate what kind of cut you're using. This is a straight cut, then you have a perforated dotted line cut, and the third is a wave cut. To use it, position your sheet under the clear plastic ruler. The blade will cut along the edge of it. Then press down on the rotary cutter and slide it across to the other side. This is the straight cut. To change the blade, pull up on this red locking tab. Spin the dial for the symbol of the blade you want. Let's try the perforated cut. Again, press down on the cutter and slide it to the other side. The perforated cut is pretty cool, and it's great if you're creating a sheet of multiple takeaways that you want to tear off individually. Then the last cut is the wave cut, which makes a fun wavy edge, like pinking shears might. The grids on the top also help you measure and create different angles easily. On the bottom of the unit is a slide out corner rounding tool. This is like a hole puncher, but instead of holes, it rounds off pointed corners, which is good for laminated projects because the sharp plastic corners tend to poke or scratch otherwise. You simply place the corner of your project into the tool, then press down and the corner will be rounded off. The clipped corners get caught in the clear receptacle underneath, which is easily emptied later. Overall, the laminator does a great job with laminating both hot and cold pouches. It's also got some nifty features to help you finish your projects so they look neat, clean, and professional. If the laminator ever gets jammed, there's a switch in the back to help clear the jam. I hope you enjoyed this review. You can ask me any questions in the comments. I'll put a link to the product in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.